What is the worst movie of all time? Well, let me make a case for Reefer Madness. Uh, this was produced way back in the 1930s, and um, it tells us, boy, women cry for it, men die for it. What are we talking about, marijuana? Uh, it tells the story, uh, purporting to be a, a serious story with, you know, with sort of subpar acting, about uh, these poor marijuana addicts uh, who go through life with, quote, drug-crazed abandon and are totally soulless. Well, back in the 1930s, of course, there was a movement against uh, marijuana. It was believed that it was responsible for all kinds of crimes, and uh, it was uh, essentially made illegal. And that is really the era of this, uh, of this movie. It's kind of worth watching just to see how bad something can be. Now, marijuana, of course, is kind of like a double-edged sword because it has some awful properties, uh, certainly uh, it interferes with reaction time. Uh, it can cause accidents when people are very high on it. There have been studies about uh, people who overuse the stuff, having all kinds of, of health problems, perhaps even in brain injuries. Uh, however, there is, of course, another side to this, and that is the potential medical use of, of marijuana because it has been properly used uh, in the right dose uh, for people who suffer from multiple sclerosis, for example. Uh, it can be used against pain. It can be used to, to try to curb the nausea that comes with uh, chemotherapy. But of course, it has to be properly used. And unfortunately, that is not always the case, which brings us to the story of uh, zombies. Yes, zombies. Oh, you think of Haiti, you think maybe of, of Thriller, Michael Jackson, maybe the best video ever made. Why do I talk about these? Because July 2016, uh, police were called to a scene in Brooklyn at a, a nightclub where they thought they were actually confronting zombies. There were actually people walking around, blurry-eyed, uh, with exaggerated uh, movements, you know, I guess kind of like that. And uh, they were totally unresponsive to, to uh, questions posed by, by the police. Uh, they were uttering strange bird-like sounds. And uh, what on earth was going on there? Well, it turned out that they had purchased a product on the street, which they thought was a new version of marijuana. It turned out to be a synthetic cannabinoid. And these are substances that develop in laboratories mostly for research purposes to see whether or not one can modify the structure of tetrahydrocannabinol to make it uh, uh, acceptable as a drug to try to get away from some of the side effects. However, this version uh, was sold on the street and it turned out to have these terrible consequences and uh, some of these people ended up in, in hospital. What's the moral of the story is that cannabis is not good or bad. People can be good or bad. It's all a question of how one uses it. It is your proverbial double-edged sword. So what we're really looking for is some chemist out there who is going to be able to come up with a version of tetrahydrocannabinol, some modification of the molecular structure that will retain the potential benefits and eliminate the worrisome side effects. So we're looking for someone who can dull one side of that double-edged sword.